Hey everybody, welcome back to another video here with Kelby Welby. This is going to be another video on how to install RL Craft. I do have one previously recorded and uploaded several months ago, um, but this is going to be a more uh, current and updated version that goes along with the newest release of RL Craft that came out in April. Um, it's going to be almost the exact same technique that we used to install RL Craft previously. But a lot of people have been complaining that it does not work for them anymore. Um, so I'm just going to show you guys that it does still work and the best possible method to do so using a fresh installation of Minecraft. So the first thing that we're going to do is open up our Minecraft folder. And to do that, we can go to the Windows Start button here in the bottom left. And then just type in percent app data percent and hit enter. And it's going to take us to our app data roaming folder, which is the default location for Minecraft installation and what we're gonna do just so we don't lose anything that we already have in Minecraft we're just gonna hit copy and create a backup and in here we can hit new folder and just type dot Minecraft backup so you know that is the backup of your pre-existing Minecraft folder you can just paste it in here by clicking control V or right click and paste and this shouldn't take too long. My Minecraft folder is already uh, basically empty, so it's not gonna take me too long. But uh, once that is complete, then we can go back here to roaming and we'll just wait for this to finish up real quick. So now we can go ahead and just delete our Minecraft folder. That way we can get our new and fresh installation of Minecraft so that there are no conflicts with the RL Craft mod pack installation. So we can minimize this and launch Minecraft. And now in here, we're just going to go ahead and hit installations here, click new, uh, just type in 1.12.2 and then we're going to choose the version 1.12.2 just so that we can kind of get uh, Minecraft fully installed here and get a world created and saved. Uh, it doesn't matter the resolution or game directory, default is perfect. Okay, go ahead and go to play, choose that 1.12.2, then we're going to hit play. And it's going to download all the files that we need in our Minecraft folder. You can see it just automatically generated there. And in here it's finished, finishing up populating the rest of the folders that we need for Minecraft. We're going to let that finish up and then continue on. Alright, and now that it's finished up, it is launching Minecraft. And then we're going to open up the game. We're going to go into single player and start a new world just so it can create a new save for us. We're not going to use it for anything, we just want it to uh, finish up installing everything. Alright, great, so we got to save and quit, quit game. Alright, so the next thing that we're going to do is go to the mod pack page on the website chrisforge.com slash minecraft slash modpack slash rlcraft. I'm going to have all these links in the description and if you scroll down here to set up an installation it tells you to use forge okay and then the forge that we want to use is 14.23.5.2838 so if we go to forge's website which is files.minecraftforge.net we can go down here to the side and choose the minecraft version 1.12.2 and then scroll down until we see 14.23.5.2838 so you're actually going to want to hit show all versions so you can find that and then once we find it go here to installer click and then wait five seconds for the ad and then we can skip the ad and choose to download the forge installer save file okay and that's going to go to my downloads then we can close out of that okay now that we have forge downloaded we want to go back to our RL craft mod packs page on curseforge and then we want to go to the right side of the page and find where we see recent files now there's minecraft 1.12 and then there's minecraft 1.12 server packs this is what we're going to want and even though you're installing it on your own computer and not using a server uh, this is going to be the version that you want so make sure to click this part uh, this this is where a lot of people got confused. Uh, we just want to make sure that you hit RL Craft Server Pack 1.12.2 Beta V2.8.2. Okay, click on that, and then we're gonna hit Download here, 
and then wait five seconds and the download will automatically start. Okay, and then save file. All right, it's downloading to my downloads now. And then next thing and last thing that we're gonna need is Optifine. I will have the direct link to this page as well. The link is optifine.net slash downloads and you wanna find Minecraft 1.12.2 HD U E3. Okay, the other versions S F4 uh, does not work. I have not tried F5, but E3 is one that does work. That is confirmed. So we're just gonna click on that. Okay, and then we're gonna wait for the ads. Skip. Okay, download Optifine 1.12.2. Save file. Now all three of these are gonna be my downloads. I'm gonna go back to my desktop here. All right. And so now we can see them here. First thing I wanna do is grab Forge, double click it, and go ahead and install the client to your default Minecraft directory. Hit okay, let it install. And then after that, we wanna run Minecraft again so that it generates the correct folders that we need, including the mods folder. I'll show you here, there is no mods folder currently. And then once we launch Minecraft, there will be. So launch, all right. And then we wanna choose Forge, which is the one that we just installed. We're gonna hit play. And then it will begin to generate, there you go. The mods folder just showed up. Forge is launching. We'll let that complete. Then we'll go ahead and create a new world just because New world, all right, let it load up and we'll save and quit. Okay, just to confirm that everything is working fine. All right, now we can quit game. Okay, so next thing we wanna do is open up our RL craft server pack that we just downloaded. Go ahead and highlight everything in there and drag it over to your Minecraft folder. Let that finish up. Replace the three files with the same names. Perfect. And then last but not least, open up the mods folder. Now you can see all the mods that we just dragged in here. And then we're also gonna drag in Optifine 1.12.2. And then just for the sake of, just for my, and then just for my peace of mind, I'm gonna go ahead and double click it and install it into the directory. This will give us another launch option for Minecraft, but we won't be using that for our LCraft. But with it being inside of the mods folder, it will run every time that you launch the Forge installation. So go ahead and hit the Minecraft launcher again. Choose Forge. But first, let's go to the Forge installation, click Edit, and then go to More Options, Down. And let's allocate some more RAM. So I have 16 gigs of RAM, so I'm just gonna choose eight gigs to allocate. But if you only have eight gigs of RAM, then you can choose four or two, but recommended is at least four gigs. Um, so then we're just gonna hit save. Okay, go back to play, choose forge, make sure it's selected and then hit play. Just give it some time to launch up and load all the mods. There should be 125 mods loaded once you are at the title screen. Okay, memory used. So you can see here, I have eight gigs of memory available, but it's only using up to about 700 for the installation of these mods. Okay, now that we're at the title screen of, of Minecraft, you can see RLCraft loaded here, 125 mods loaded. We have a couple options for RLCraft wiki and Reddit so you can get some more information about the mod pack. Um, then you can go to mods here and just check all the ones that did in fact get installed. Go to options, video settings, shaders, and from here you can change your shader options or um, if you want to add shaders to your game, you can click this, download them from online, just drag them into this folder and select them here. But for this, for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna use the internal shaders that come with Optifine. Okay, then we're gonna hit done. We don't need these worlds anymore. We can go ahead and delete them. Create a new world, name it whatever you want. RL Craft. Okay, I can't type RL Craft D. Okay, create new world. Give it some time to load up. 
go ahead and stretch my game a little bit. This game is extremely challenging. Oil Craft, the mod pack itself, is, is very challenging. Um, I did a series on it, if you guys want to watch. I played through 13 episodes and then just kind of gave up. I'm definitely open to continuing the series or starting a new series if you guys would like to watch it. Um, so yeah, this is RL Craft. We just finished the installation. This just might be one of the only times I've spawned and haven't died immediately or been faced with any <laughs> major threats. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and leave a thumbs up and a comment. You can subscribe and turn on my notifications to be notified when I do post or go live. I have done a couple live streams in the past few days playing Rocket League with my brother and my friend. If you guys would like to watch that, I do very much enjoy having viewers uh, commenting and chatting in the live chat. It's, it's, it's very fun to be interactive with you guys and very fun to be able to just play and not have to worry about editing my videos and posts. But I would like to do some more Minecraft videos, including maybe RL Craft if you guys want to see that, or the new uh, Wizardry, uh, Hogwarts, Harry Potter, Minecraft, Mod Pack, whatever it's called. Um, that does spark my interest quite a lot, and I would like to check that out and do some do a series over that. So if that's something you guys would like to see, let me know. I hope you enjoyed this video. I appreciate your time, and I will see you next time. Peace out.